Hi guys, it's Shirley and welcome to my channel. So a video I've been seeing a lot lately is the then versus now challenge, which is basically how you used to do your makeup versus how you do your makeup now. And I thought it'd be a really interesting video for me to make because times have changed. It's just been years of learning how to apply makeup that suits my face shape, my eye shape. You just realize what you prefer on yourself over time. And yeah, I'm really excited to see the transformation. And if you guys are also interested to see how much my makeup game has changed, then just keep on watching. So this is gonna be my then side, this is gonna be my now side. I've already moisturized my face and I'm going to go in with primer. I did not used to use primer, so I'm not gonna put primer on this side, but I will put primer on this side. So first I'm going with a smoothing primer. All products will be linked in the description below, as always. I hope you guys check my description box often because I put a lot of info in there that you guys might be wondering about. I try to be as thorough in my descriptions as possible but of course if you guys do have questions just comment down below I make sure to read every comment and try to answer to the best of my ability then I'm gonna go in with a mattifying primer super extra I feel like over the years my makeup routine just gets longer more products more expensive I kind of miss having like a really simple makeup routine but it also didn't look that good so that's the downside for me. So while I wait for my primer to set in, I'm gonna go in with foundation on this side. So my go-to foundation in the past was the Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 Concealer Plus Foundation, but I haven't repurchased that in years. So the closest thing I have to that now is the Style 71 Diamond Powder Cushion. This is a refill, and I find that these are similar because they both have a powdery satin finish. The coverage of this powder cushion is not as full coverage as the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, which is a given because powder cushions are not supposed to be full coverage, they're supposed to be very natural. This shade is also too light for me, so just ignore that. But they have the same finish, so that's what we're looking at. Since the foundation was a two-in-one that includes a concealer, I would just go under my eyes with the same foundation and call it a day. Whoa! It's way too light, especially in the summer since I'm getting a little bit darker. Oh my god, I look like a ghost. It's okay, we'll warm up the face soon. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation on this side. So nowadays, I like to use a more matte and full coverage foundation. Today, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Classic Ivory 120. And my tool of choice is, of course, the Beauty Blender. I just like to dot this all over my face. This shade is a little bit too pink for me. I don't know what it is, like it's so hard to find my correct shade and I'm just gonna blend that out. If you look past the shade difference, as you can tell, the finishes are quite different. Next, I'm moving on to brows. So what I used to use on my brows in the past was this brow palette from e.l.f. And this is actually a really good product. It was just my technique that was not good. I basically just applied the same pressure throughout my whole brow. I didn't blend it. I didn't try to fade it out or anything. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. I had really harsh, blocky brows. That doesn't look that bad. <laughs> okay, um, and I also, the product right at the front. And my tail was super thick. And then I just would use the powder and run it through the rest of my brow. Have a super dark, harsh brow. I think it's better now since I got my brows shaped and stuff, but this is probably the closest I'll get. I didn't clean it up with concealer or anything, I just left it as is. So now, on this side, I like going in with a eyebrow pencil and just shaping out the brow. I'm not gonna go into detail because there are a lot of eyebrow tutorials out there, but if you guys do want a brow tutorial, just let me know. So once I get the initial shape, I go in with a brow pomade so next, I'm going to use a concealer to clean up my brow. And 
And then the last thing I do for my brows is go in with a brow gel. Okay, brows are done. I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I'm just gonna do a natural look on both eyes with the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. On this side, I just used one shade all over the lid. Didn't use a brush, just used my fingers. I'm just gonna use the shade Nudie, which is a light brown. And basically, I would stop there. So for natural looks now, I would use a transition shade in the crease and then a all-over lid shade. So I'm just gonna go in with Cashmere Bunny, which is just a little bit darker than Nudie, and put that in the crease. And then I would go in with my finger and put Nudie all over the lid. And then I'm just going to go back and intensify the crease just a little bit. You guys see the difference? Okay, so moving on to eyeliner. The eyeliner that I used to use all the time was a cheap old eyeliner from the Dollar Tree. It was the one from LA Colors. It was just an automatic eyeliner pencil that you twist up. And I would just try to do a cat eye with this thick point. So let's see if I can do that again. I would kind of tug at my temple even though that's not good for you because wrinkles. I don't know how I used to just wear pencil liner. Like it doesn't look that clean or sharp and it doesn't last as long for sure. It smudges easily. So on this side, I'm going to be using a liquid liner. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I'm also going to create a cat eye. Now I'm going to go in with a pencil liner and line my waterline on this side. It makes such a difference. So next, I'm gonna conceal under my eyes on this side and blend it out with a beauty blender. Next, I'm gonna bake under my eyes where I applied the concealer as well as on areas of my face that I want to stay matte. While that's baking, I like to go in with contour. So in the past, I did not use contour. I just used a bronzer as my contour and it was the oldie but goodie NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. So this is the brush that I would use for the bronzer. It's a super dense flat top. At first, I thought it was a really good idea to use this brush, but look, this brush doesn't really blend it out. It just kind of leaves it there. I would just try my best to blend it out, and I would use my fingers to blend it out. That's basically how I would contour my face. Next, I'm gonna wipe off the bake with a powder brush. And I'm also gonna contour the side of my face. Nowadays, I like to use a fluffier angle brush. I like to use a more neutral shade to contour my face. Then I'll go in with a more warm toned bronzer to warm up my face. And I will also apply this on my forehead. And next, I'm going to contour my nose. I used to not contour my nose because I was really intimidated like if I messed up, it would be really obvious. And I just like adding more dimensions to my nose cause with all the foundation on top of it, I feel like it looks flatter and loses its shape. Next, I'm gonna apply mascara. I would just leave my lashes uncurled and then apply mascara. Okay. 
I would just try to build it up as much as I could and I wouldn't mind if it was like spidery or super clumpy and I would not apply mascara to my bottom lashes. Do you see that? What is that? So for this side, I'm gonna be curling my lashes to the best of my ability. And then I will be applying mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Next, I'm gonna be moving on to lips. So my go-to lip product back in the day was the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. And I would just apply this all over. Just like that. And nowadays, I like to line my lips first before I apply lipstick. I used to wear more peachy warm tones, but now I wear more cool mauve tones. Next, I'm going to be moving on to highlighter. I did not highlight back in the day, so I'm not going to use highlighter, but I do highlight a lot now. First, I'll go in with a more creamy highlighter, and then I'll top it off with a powder. Now I'm going to go in with a pressed powder on both sides of my face, because I did use a setting powder back in the day. It was the Rimmel Stay Matte. Everyone knows it, but I don't have it currently, so I'm just going to use this one. And just for a wow factor, I'm going to put on lashes on this side. These are my go-to lashes from AliExpress. I'm currently trying out a new lash glue, so you guys will hear about that in the near future. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me recreate how I used to do my makeup. Even though it doesn't show up well on camera, I assure you it looks super different. My makeup now definitely looks cleaner, more polished. Like even small things like your technique or like the products you use will make such a huge difference in the way that your makeup will turn out. And I definitely took trial and error and years of practice. I feel like because I'm so used to how I do my makeup now, it was kind of hard to make it different. So this isn't an accurate representation, but I tried. And hopefully you guys can tell the difference. And it's just motivating and relieving to see how far my makeup skills have come since then. And I know that I'm not a makeup professional or makeup artist in any way, but I've stopped making the same mistakes I used to do in the past. I'm not saying that there's like a right or wrong way, but in my opinion, I feel and look better in the way that I do my makeup now. And that's really all that matters because it's about you and how you feel about yourself. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Hope you guys are having a great day and a great summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!